Hey guys, even here, and we have something really interesting to start this video with, and it is Sean Roden update uh, with a question mark. Is this recent or not? Everybody's wondering, and I think it is. I think it is recent. Now, it is odd. I did not expect him to be this shredded at this time, but he has been posting a lot of videos of himself training really hard, and now he's posting this photo, and why do I think it is recent? It's because of the gray hairs on his beard. I don't think we saw this salt and pepper action going on before, when he was in 2018 prep, or earlier. Look guys, so Sean won the Mr. Olympia 2018. That was the last time he was in shape. And I don't remember him posting any photos like this, with, uh, with, with beard. I don't think I ever saw him looking like this. And also, I don't think his physique looked like this before. I think it is different. I might be mistaken, but I don't think so. Now, he's 46, so three years later, he did not compete. And you guys know that Sean Roden gets really soft in the offseason. He prefers to get a little bit chubby, but to be big. Uh, last time we saw him at Pittsburgh Pro, he was probably off of gear, he was just taking it easy, and he got relaxed a little bit too much, but when the time is for dieting, he gets shredded so easily, so fast, there is no problem with that, but in the offseason he gets chubby, so he hasn't been competing since 2018, he had no reason to get conditioned, I'm sure he was missing it. So, I don't know what his plans are as far as competitions this year, but I am assuming he's gonna be competing before the Mr. Olympia. Again, he is a Mr. Olympia winner, so he doesn't have to qualify for the Mr. Olympia. He can just jump into the show, but right now he looks shredded, like show ready. So, that is a part that is confusing me and making me think that this is actually not recent, that is not right now. Because why would he be so shredded right now? There is still like 16, 15 weeks to Mr. Olympia and he's qualified. So, why? I mean, is he gonna try to warm up by doing a lower level show? Does he just want to compete and, uh, you know, win shows, win money prize? And also the question is, is he allowed to now? Finally, nobody announced anything because Mr. Olympia was not allowing him to compete. I think there was an issue with IFBB too, but there were some talks, there were some photos of him with Dan Solomon. So maybe in the meantime, they worked up a deal. Maybe they wanted to keep it secret, not tell anybody and then just surprise us all with a Sean Roden comeback. You guys know what I've been telling you before, that I think Sean, his 2018 version is better than Brandon Curry 2019 or Big Ramy 2020. It was the best Mr. Olympia winning physique in the last three years. And I think him at his best, he's beating Big Ramy and Brandon Curry or Phil Heath or Heidi Chupan. I think nobody can really touch him if he's at his best. This right here is his best pose. Sean Rodden at his best, nobody is beating him in this pose, that's for sure. I mean, all the bodybuilders, nobody really has this aesthetic absent eyes at this mass. No, no, this is really exceptional. How does he look like right now in this photo right here, in this pose? I don't know, I think waist looks a little bit thicker, I'm not sure, I think legs look a little bit downsized. It could be the, the posing, it could be the shadows, it could be like the fact that he was uh, eating or doing some intra carbs and he got bloated or something, but I don't really see the tiny tight waist that he's actually known for. So, again, I'm assuming this is recent, I don't know, he didn't say anything, as you can see in the description right here, he's not saying anything about it, I mean, he's not telling us that this is recent or not, so I'm just assuming, I I'm making my best judgement, I think it's recent, because I don't think it looks as impressive as it looked back in 2018. It could be an older photo, but did he have grey beard back then? I never noticed, so I don't know, you guys tell me, do you think this is recent? I think it is recent, I know, I know it's not expected to see Sean looking like this at this point. If it is recent, it means he's competing in one of the shows before the Mr. Olympia and then hopefully he will be allowed to, to do Mr. Olympia as well. I'm sure you guys would love that, I would love that, really, I would really love that. So guys, tell me, what do you think? Do you think this is recent? And if it is, what does it look like to you? Does it look as good as it looked back in the day? Can he win the Mr. Olympia with this physique? Tell me what do you think down below in the comment section. 
All right, next we have Justin Rodriguez, who is in the off season right now, or not really, prepping for Mr. Olympia, but he is not exactly getting super shredded at this point because he still has enough time. There is no reason to. And since he won that Indy Pro and took second at the New York Pro, he took some time to grow, and right now he's 305 pounds with this conditioning. Guys, with this conditioning, I mean, th th there is a lot of water here, sure. Sure, but still, he's huge. Look at him. I mean, look at the size of this guy. He grew so much, and uh, his captions lately look like he's super motivated. He's talking about himself being an underdog, and that he can only climb up, and that he's really driven. He's gonna do his best at the Mr. Olympia. So when a bodybuilder of this stature is that motivated, and he's actually ready to do whatever it takes, you know, put his health on the line, and just do bodybuilding 100%, you can expect big things and some changes. So if Justin is 305 pounds right now, and there is still a lot of time until Mr. Olympia, the question is what he is gonna look like at the Mr. Olympia. He is qualified, so he's gonna be there, and right now he is absolutely humongous. He is growing, he's keeping the conditioning. You can see the striations in the chest, in the delts, you can see the veins in his um, inner thighs, calves as well, so he is just a little bit watery, but he is really conditioned. How heavy will he be at a stage? To 70? To 60? I don't know, but he's gonna be big, right? Because like big guys like Ian Valier or Hunter Labrada, they are in the range of 250, 255. They are not 305 pounds with this conditioning. I don't think so. I think Ian, with this conditioning, he's like 270. And Justin, guys, is 305. That's a lot. That's really heavy. So I kind of never really considered Justin as one of the top bodybuilders. Sure, top 10 Olympian, that's that's great. But I never really considered him like a top 6 threat. But now, with this newly added mass, with so much focus, if he brings like super tight conditioning with new mass, how well will he do? How well can he do? He was 10th last year. Can he crack top 6 this year? Maybe? That would be a surprise. Wouldn't it? But just be prepared, because 305 pounds with this conditioning, yeah, that, that tells me something. That's really impressive. We'll see what's gonna happen, but I gotta I gotta tell you guys, man, this is a lot. This is this is a big, big bodybuilder. And big is the name of the game nowadays, with Big Ramy being the Mr. Olympia. Here is Hunter Labrada, and he is looking absolutely peeled and insanely huge at four weeks out of Chicago Pro where he will win and qualify for the Mr. Olympia, I have no doubts about that. Who can challenge him? Charles Griffin? Come on, I don't think he can actually challenge him seriously. This guy looks like an absolute monster, he looks bigger than last year, he looks more conditioned than he was last year at four weeks out. Just look at the graininess, I mean the vascularity, he looks like He's carved out of stone, I mean, this really looks freaking hard, and you can see the vascularity, you can see the grain, and it's the granite, look, you know what I'm talking about, you can see it, he has the quality muscle, and he's still young in this game, he turned pro like two years ago, last year he had a pro debut, he won, he did Mr. Olympia, he took 7th, this year he's gonna try to qualify, he will qualify, what will he do at the Mr. Olympia? We still have left to see, but every time he competes, he looks better than the previous time. So when will that progression stop? I don't know. He's training super hard, though the form is very strict, so I don't think he can injure himself, but it can always happen, so that's the only thing that can stop him, really. But he seems driven, he's been putting a lot of work lately, and the results are showing. He looks absolutely insane. In this photo right here, when I saw this on Instagram, I was like, wow, I mean, look at this guy. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable how much progress he's making and what is he looking like right now. Mr. Olympia lineup is gonna be stacked, so I don't know what to expect of him. Is he gonna be able to jump a few spots? Because it's gonna be really tough to do that, but he will be better, that's undoubtable. And I'm already just saying that he's basically qualified for the Mr. Olympia because I don't really see anybody else beating him at the Chicago Pro. Maybe this guy can do it, Victor Martinez? Eh, no, just a joke. I don't think he's gonna be competing. I don't think he's getting ready for a show. I think he's just staying in a really good shape, exceptional shape for a guy of his age. I mean, he almost won the Mr. Olympia 2007, so he's from that era, and right now he looks like he can still compete and do really well. How well can he do? I can definitely see him tracking top 5, top 6 at the pro shows. 
aside from Arnold Classic and Mr. Olympia, but I can definitely see him as one of the top pros, let's say second tier bodybuilder today, which is really freaking impressive for a guy of his age. So right now, I mean, he posted these photos, he's talking in the description right here, and he's just staying in a really good shape, he's training hard, not super, super hard, but very hard, and very heavy, blah, 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 but he does look absolutely amazing in this photo, he's in a great shape, uh, his stomach doesn't look very aesthetic, but he always kind of had that, this kind of weird-looking skin, he always had that, even when he was super conditioned, he has it now, but the chest, the arms, the wee taper, it all just looks absolutely amazing, and I think he can do really well if he decides to compete again. Can he qualify for the Mr. Olympia? Maybe by points. Maybe. But probably not. I don't think he's still on that level, but he does look really, really good. I can see him doing, like, top 6 at the pro shows. But is Lee Priest doing a comeback? He, maybe, yeah, maybe. I heard uh, Dave Palombo saying that uh, Lee might do it uh, next year, 2022. He is still in a good shape. The only problem is his uh, right arm. He's always hiding it. I think he had a neck surgery that really affected his arm. He is unable to train it heavy, so it uh, downsized a little, but Dave Palombo also says that it's getting better. And you can see his left arm right here and the forearm. And just, wow, I mean, how many people would like to have arms as big as his forearms? I mean, it's pretty much unreachable. I don't know how much is it really, I mean, if you measure it, because he's short, but I'm sure it's still really big. I mean, look at the size of these, of these forearms and arms. And uh, he hasn't been competing for a long time, but he lost very little to no mass whatsoever. He is still very, very huge. So, I don't know what his plans are for the future as far as competitions, but if his right arm actually gets to match the left arm, he can definitely do, he can definitely make a solid comeback. Can he, like, do well at the pro shows? I don't think so, but can he, you know, not embarrass himself and look great at a comeback? I think so, yeah, because these arms are just freaking insanely huge, man. For the end of this video, we have Kim Williams with another update. He posted side chest and uh, I think it was like back, back lat spread it was, yes. And now he posted side tricep on his story. In those two photos before, he didn't look super crispy. But again, I said he's gonna win because the competition is not that tough. And he posted another one, side tricep. Here he does look a little bit more conditioned. But still, it's not super, super crispy as it was at the Mr. Olympia last year. So... Is he gonna win Puerto Rico Pro tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Puerto Rico Pro, though, is happening tomorrow, on Sunday, not on Saturday, like I thought. If I find out where is the live stream, I will post the link in my community section. This side tricep, though, looks like a Puerto Rico winning side tricep. I don't think there is anything else to say about Puerto Rico Pro. It's pretty much safe win for Kim Williams. Nobody can really challenge him up there. I mean, who else? Mohamed Shaban, Hassan Mustafa? No, I don't think those guys can touch Akim. Maybe if he's really soft, but I don't, I don't think he's that soft. You can see his glutes here and everything else. He is bringing the conditioning. Whatever you guys think, though, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. All the best and bye-bye.